Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we're just gonna discuss painting the, the trailer frame, uh, what I do to, to uh, what I use to do that. So first of all, we're just gonna prep it. So I'm gonna strip everything off of here. I uh, use my grinder with a wire wheel on it. Just uh, grind it all down. And then what I'm gonna paint it with is just this trim clad black paint. Um, it's an oil based paint if you do just to paint it with this what I find is it's very tacky and it's soft it takes a long long time to harden so in this I'm going to add some universal urethane hardener uh, this I think is the key to making this work and you can do it with anything if you're gonna paint your furniture outside trailer frames bike frames whatever you can use this uh, oil-based paint with the universal hardener it, they, they mix okay together and so I'm just going to mix that up in here and then I'm just going to use one of these sponge brushes to apply it just so it's nice and smooth so I'm going to try and get going on this before the Sun gets on it otherwise it won't flow very good you'll have a lot of marks but if I can get it mostly done before the Sun gets on it then then it'll be nice and smooth So there we go, that's all, everything ground down. So what I just used is a wire wheel here. And I like to use the knotted wire wheel because then uh, the strands of the wire wheel don't fly off into you. It just makes it a little better. And then for the flat surfaces, I just use one of these flapper discs. So uh, that's 40 grit. Makes it nice and smooth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take and wipe it down with acetone and then start applying the paint. As you can see I'm in the sun now so it's not going to flow as good. I'm going to get probably some lines, just uh, brush stroke lines. So for the actual mixing of the paint I'm just going to use one of these paint mixers. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do, um, oh, where is it? Just the standard mix. Yeah, okay, here we go. So I'm doing one part of the hardener, and then I'm going to do eight parts of the paint. And I'm just using this universal hardener right here. Universal hardener, and again, just using trim clad gloss black or rust oleum, same paint. I find with the hardener, it gives it a nice, uh, a nice hard finish. And also, it helps it dry faster. I don't know if you've ever used Rust-Oleum before or uh, trim clad, but it takes forever to dry. And then also, it gives it a UV uh, uh, coating. Okay, so we got the paint all done on the frame. It's very hard uh, due to the adding the, adding the hardener to the, the Rust-Oleum paint. Anyway, so that's all done. Now I'm just installing my anti-sway bar here. I really recommend uh, anytime you're towing a trailer to have uh, some kind of anti-sway device. Um, this is the one I, I bought, it's a Kurt. You can see that Kurt sway control, pretty simple installation. Has a, a tab that gets welded onto your hitch, gets welded right on there. Then there's a ball that sticks out of there. You bolt this ball here onto the frame, 24 inches between that ball and this ball. And then your sway control bar here. goes on there just like that a couple clips fit in there and then you can just set the the tightness or set the how, how much lo locked down you want it right there so this works well because when you're off-roading you can just take it off 
and you just throw it back on when you hit the highway just stops the whole thing from swaying so that's good I got that done now I'm gonna go over it and just fix up this jack I got to cut these bars to size and then cut these these bolts get it all bolted in there and I'll show you what I'm doing over there so here's the other side with the jack it's one of these fold up jacks it's pretty tight in here with the wheel but what I do is I just loosen it just a bit just so that the wheels loose and then you can move the wheel around that uh, that ring for the chains and then you just move it and it just kind of goes around 